last October, October 2nd, 2013, uh, the City Council uh, enacted an ordinance that strengthened our current uh, smoking ordinance uh, and make it making it more stricter. Uh, and it went into effect June 1st uh, of this year for all of the buildings. January 1st, it went into effect for all properties that are owned by the City of San Marcos, uh, which includes all of our parks and open space, uh, the parking lots even that you drive into. Designated areas require proper signage that says this is a, a, where you're allowed to smoke. It requires you to have, of course, receptacles to put your butts in. Uh, and then it's supposed to be kept tidy and neat, of course. We've had a few minor objections from some of the local bars, and these are some of the older existing bars and restaurants that had uh, issues with setting up an outdoor area for their, their patronage. So helping them work through some of those issues was, was part of the, the implementation of putting it off until June of this year. And then hopefully they've gotten their permits to add on those outdoor smoking areas if they didn't already have one to construct one and then that will extend their time limit through uh, for another year until January of 2015. Uh, my business in particular, it really doesn't affect much at all. One, I don't have a patio or an open air area, so there's no designated smoking zone here. So literally the entire the entire bar is non-smoking. So whenever anybody wants a cigarette here, they walk outside or uh, what I find most people are doing is there's, there's 20 bars on the square. They smoke when they're walking from one to the other, most people. Uh, if they hang out at one bar too long, then they go outside and have a cigarette and they come back in. It really doesn't affect my business at all. They had a few people that have been upset about it just because of the simple fact that they didn't know that the law had been passed. Um, you know, usually it only takes about a minute conversation and to get them to understand that, hey, it is a new law, that you can't allow smoking anymore in our business, and that we do have a separate patio that they're more than welcome to go out and smoke on. And I think that if we had several hundreds of complaints, hey, I'm not coming back here because you smoke too much, we would have just did it personally and cut out the smoking ourselves. You know, we wouldn't have to have a law to pass. But I also think that you have free will. You know, if, uh, if, if you don't like something that's going on in a place of business, then you're more than welcome to remove yourself. There's definitely plenty of other options to go and eat and drink. Um, here, I liked it because we do have a lot of screens, uh, you know, and we do uh, host a lot of sporting events. Uh, we do have live music and DJs that come and perform. Um, so when people are asked to leave and smoke, you know, they get to, they, they, they miss out some of the performances or maybe a big key moment in a ball game. Um, so yeah, there's like some issues that I have with it personally there. I would support the ban or at least I'm supportive of the ban. Um, there have been several times when I have either avoided places or events specifically because I'm worried about the smoke that's going to be there. Um, cigarette smoke is generally harmful to people, but some people it may trigger headaches or migraines. Some people may have things like asthma or other kinds of sensitivities that can be affected by cigarette smoke. And I don't think that people should have to be worried about whether they can breathe safely in public.